Spencer. Spencer, this is Jacob from Service Bell. How's it going, man? Going well. How are you doing? Pretty good. I'm cold calling you, but I figured you'd be open to it because you're a sales guy and you're from Utah, and Utah people are friendly, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the off base there. You got, me, you got me there, dude. <laughs> Sweet, man. Can I tell you why I'm calling? Yeah, dude. Go ahead. Word. Did I book the demo? You'll have to stick around to find out. This video will be all about live cold calling. You're going to watch me with my SDR Jack in a live cold call block, failing, trying again, and eventually booking the meeting. If you want to book more meetings, click the link down below in the description to get access to my free pain-based prospecting training. It teaches you how to find the right prospects so when you cold call or cold email, they actually want to buy. Okay, stick around to the video. Oh, by the way, if you get the free training, you also get access to my free Facebook group where we talk about cold outreach. You can have access to me to answer questions. I also will lastly say that I have uh, script rewriting. I can look at your cold email, cold call scripts, and write them for you, or just give you feedback on them and a lot more. So join the group. I'll see you there. All right, boys, Jack and Jacob in our Friday afternoon call block. This is the best time probably ever to book meetings, uh, and my backpack agrees. We are in Nooks, which is a really cool virtual sales floor tool where you can cold call, uh, as you can see, with buddies and rip dials and book meetings and have a good time. What do you say, Jack? I say let's do it. Should I we... think it's Friday, man. We're, we we got to make this go hard. We got to go hard. Should we ring the bang? Should we bang the gong? Yes, just preemptively. Just all right. We, <laughs> all right. Couple... we want a lot of these coming. We want a lot of these going on when, when we. Uh, Get this thing rolling, okay. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, here we go. Here we oh, go. that's cool. Let me start ripping yeah. dials. I have Bang. plenty of people left. I have, so guys, I'm still, I'm not doing best practice. I just pulled a giant list from SalesNav and a lot of these people are not at the right company or the right title. So don't hate on me, you know what I mean? I'm just, uh, I'm gonna be skipping a lot of people, but I'm also gonna probably book a meeting, so let's go. You do you, brother, you do you. Thank you for hello. This is Sherry Pickens with one. For software sales, press two. For questions regarding your monthly bill. Oh, it's Jacob from Service Bell. How's it going, man? Hey, I'm doing all right. How are you? Pretty good. I'm cold calling you. I figured being in sales, you'd be open to it. Was I off base there? It's fine. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, you hurt my feelings. <laughs> okay, you might hurt mine, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the reason I'm calling you is, uh, it's actually funny, Service Bell, it lets you know when a prospect is on your site, exploring your products, for example, and you can jump into a live qualification call with them, like a video call, on the website, without having to cold call or email people. I was just curious how you guys are handling inbound right now. Um, well, the, comer the segment that I work in, I don't do any cold calling, actually. That's great. Do you feel inbound leads? Um, not a whole lot of them. Uh, I work in the DOD military space, so mm. almost all of my work and business is either 18 months of business development. Oh yeah, this, or, is, this is a terrible fit. Wow. Uh, Sorry for calling you, dude. This is yeah. not going to work. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's all right. I mean, I, I just, I, I had the same conversation with a few people. It's just like, like our market. You're working massive very... deals and kissing up, kissing yeah. some butts, and then you're getting into these government contracts. I like it. Probably like multi-million yeah. dollar deals. Exactly. There's no, um, there's no quick wins or easy wins, cold call on the director of operations somewhere and say, Hey, I got a thing. Um, unfortunately. You got to work your way in there. It's a lot easier. Mad respect. Yeah. Mad respect. Um, well, appreciate okay. It. It's not easy, uh, cold calling people either. So thank you. Yeah, dude. Good luck with your, with your deals and, uh, hopefully I'll book a meeting today. You know, Friday afternoon call is the best time to call. Yeah. Well, everybody's uh, everybody's got something good, so I think it's uh, great and good luck uh, with it. All righty, take it easy. Thank you. Hey, it's Jacob from Service Bell. How's it going? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Jacob from Service Bell, as in ding. <laughs> uh, I'm cold calling you. I figured you'd be open to it being in sales. Is that okay? What can I do for you, Jacob? Yeah, the reason I'm calling, it's actually ironic. Service Bell, the pl platform that I sell, lets you know when a prospect is on your website. So you can jump into a live video call with them and sell them on the spot at the right time instead of cold calling. Just curious how you handle inbound leads right now. Well, we have a whole process for inbound leads, and we do know um, we use not only HubSpot just to 
process the leads, but we use two other pieces of software. One to track anything that comes onto our website, like anybody else would do, which is analytics. Uh, we're into Google uh, Analytics besides, or, and then we have another piece of software that we do. But I want to thank you for trying the cold call. Keep on going. You might get a hit someplace. What if I told you that those two tools that you're using are a perfect fit to, for us to enhance and make your process even better? <laughs> hey, man, you did exactly Ooh. what you should have there. You just kept going, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah hey, man, you know, hey, appreciate it, but, <laughs> you know, you just gave me the ammunition. Yeah. Like, I know I can help you. you yeah. I, I realized that she hung up on me. I, Hi, you've reached 339. This sounds like her. How's it going? Uh, good. How are you? Pretty good, man. I figured I'm cold calling you. I figured being in sales, you'd be open to it. And considering you're being friendly, I guess I wasn't too far off. Uh, no. Why? Well, what can I do for you, sir? <laughs> uh, let me pitch you. Okay, and you're from Surf Pro. Service Bell, as in ding. <laughs> um, Service Bell. Yeah. Okay. So I don't it's, know what that is. It is kind of like the HubSpot chat app you have on your site, except. We can tell you when a prospect is on a high value page, like a demo request page, and then you can jump into uh, a live video call with them instantly on the website and get them into like a qualification event immediately. So I was just curious how you guys handle inbound right now. Uh, we have a we have a web page form. So if they express interest, they have to fill out the web page form and then they that send us a a form in and then our SDR call out. Interesting. Is your team, are you mostly handling outbound or your, your team does both or what? Uh, I do, I'm, I'm more on the enterprise level. So oh, okay. I've got, you know, accounts I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm outbounding, but I'm not doing like mass mailers or anything. Like we have SDRs that do outbound. Uh, they're not located here. Mm. I work out of my office in my house. Interesting. Um, Same so here. we have folks in California and uh, in the UK. So you have, do you, I guess you have a book of target accounts that you're trying to break into? Yeah. Would it be helpful to know when one of them clicks through your email and, and then you can engage them on the website? Well, that's the thing, it's the engaging on the website. You know, I have to be honest with you. What was your name again, sir? Jacob. Jacob. So um, I, have, I have a manager that kind of makes all these decisions for the company. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the CRO. Mm -hmm. And... And so, although you can pitch me all you want, if we don't have the budget for it, or if this isn't something that, you know, the company decides we need, I can't help you. So I want to make sure that you're pitching to I'm, the right person. I'm well aware. I, I appreciate you guiding me in the right direction. The reason that I spoke to you first is because I find it much easier to call someone like you than over the CRO and see if it makes sense for you first and for your team. And then if it works, then maybe work my way up later on. But I would love to get your well, okay. buy-in first because you would probably be one of the users, and I would love your feedback. Well, it's the beneficiary, so yeah. So I wouldn't necessarily use it myself, but I would obviously we would obviously as a company benefit. So here's the thing. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, right now, because I, he's in a different country right now, and I can't talk to him or ask him anything, so I can't give out his email address without his express permission. But what I can tell you is his name is S I M A R D. Mm -hmm. So you got my phone number, so you can get it. <laughs> I like your thinking. So, yeah, well, well if you're using Zoom Info or something like that, that's probably exactly how you did it. Can I, um, can, uh, I think you were either in Lucia or Seamless. Okay. Um, do you yeah. mind, instead of, so, instead, of trying, instead of me trying to get you to, you know, doing the whole, hey, let's book a half hour meeting, which you don't want to go to, can I ask you to just go to, if, are you in, if you're in your office now, if you go to servicebell.com, I can just call you and show it to you. And in 30 seconds, yeah. I'll know if it's cool or not and if it's even worth me pursuing here's, further or not. Here's my challenge. It's the end of the month, and I've got a quote I've got to finish so I can get this 17 grand order in. Uh, so I here. can't do that. Okay, that means, that means we'll have to do it next week then, right? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I think, I think honestly, like, here's the pitch. We're looking for faster ways to speed up the close cycle, like the, the lead time and you uh -huh. know, engaging with the – we're looking for ways to speed up that process because if we did it the way we've always done it, it can take weeks, if not months. And so if we can see someone coming in, engaging with their website, we can give them the opportunity to chat with someone live 
Right. That would do that, wouldn't it? Exactly. Especially one thing we can do, you said you're on HubSpot. So we can look into HubSpot and see which companies have active deals and then use Sixth Sense and Clearbit to tell you when one of those companies is on your website and then alert the deal owners to engage their active deals on the site and either re-engage champions or loop in new contacts who haven't really gotten to the deal yet. So what I would recommend you do, honestly, is I know you want to pitch me, um, but what I really think you ought to do is you need to also reach out to my CRO. We're not a big company. Um, we're looking for ways to, to shorten things up. I can't give you information about the budget. Um, and so, you know, when I talk to people on, in my line of work, it's all, it's all well and good to get kind of like the target end users excited about it. And that turns me into a champion. The problem is making that bridge from champion to decision maker. And honestly, at this stage, I can champion everything I want. He knows what the numbers are and he knows what the budget is. He's also been doing this as a manager way longer than I have. So he's going to be in a better spot for you to have a real conversation and frankly succeed and drive your sale. Hmm. I'm not trying to put you off. You're you're selling me, you're selling me pretty hard here and I think I'm buying. (laughs) Um, So that's, that's the thing because, because let's shorten your sales cycle. Let's get you to the exactly the right person you might want to talk to. And so I would look up, he's not in town right now. He'll be in, uh, he's in California. So he's going to be in next week. He, here's the thing you got to do. And this is exact. I, I even give you this for free. Don't call him. Email do not him. call my boss. He will not he like it. Fundamental. Hates getting phone calls like this. I don't mind because I'm gregarious and I like to talk to people and I love being sold by salespeople. He hates it. I've heard him yell at people on the phone while I'm trying to talk to him on a Teams call because someone's <laughs> cold calling out of nowhere. Right? Uh. So I'd find his email address and that and pitch him that way. Can I tell him I spoke to you or should I leave you out of it? Yeah, no, 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 no. You can tell him you spoke to me. Okay, great. Should, would it be funny if I mentioned I was told specifically not to cold call you or should I leave that part out? Yeah. No. Do that too. Okay. Okay. Because because if you, if you call, he'll spend most of the time telling you why that's a really bad idea and how you shouldn't do that. And I don't think that's a great way to start. No, I don't think so either. Uh, no. So I'm gonna. Okay, you know what? You're. I'm gonna make a note to follow up with him next week. I really appreciate you pointing me in that direction. I'm not gonna be the guy who keeps hammering you over the head. I asked you like three times. I'm going to let you go. Thank you for the intel. Yeah. Uh, do you mind if I CC you on this email? Sure. Why not? All right. Wow. This is great. Okay. This is a good shot. I'll give it a shot. And we'll see how it goes. Good luck, sir. Awesome. Take it easy. All right. Bye. Bye. Dude, what a call. <laughs> what a nice. Call. That guy's I, a champ. You, you just kept pushing. You kept getting more and more because otherwise you wouldn't have known, hey, maybe I shouldn't call this guy. Maybe, you know, I, I shouldn't mention this guy's name. You got everything. You got permission. You're CC. Dude, A+. Plus. That's killer referral. Nice. So we'll see. Nice. We'll see if this actually works. Um, you know. But You know, it sounded to me like what he was saying. Uh, it, it definitely sounded to me like what he was saying was a lot of, um, you know, positive. He sounded pretty genuine. Hello, Spencer. Spencer, this is Jacob from Service Bell. How's it going, man? Going well. How are you doing? Pretty good. I'm cold calling you, but I figured you'd be open to it because you're a sales guy and you're from Utah, and Utah people are friendly. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the face there. You got me, you got me there, dude. <laughs> Sweet man. Can I tell you why I'm calling? Yeah, dude. Go ahead. Word. Okay, it's actually ironic. Service Bell lets you know when a prospect is on, let's say your book a demo page, and then you can jump into a live video qualification call with them in real time, instead of having to cold call people like I'm cold calling you. Uh, And it's for HubSpot, which I see you have HubSpot chat. So I'm curious to know how you're currently handling inbound right now. And also feel free to give feedback on my cold call pitch. After this section, we had some back and forth. He threw some objections. I tried to overcome them. And I used this last attempt to get him on the website and show him service bill. Let's see how it went. Well, my last ask that I'll make before I let you go is usually when people see this, they really have, they're like, well, this is sick. And I do think this is interesting and it's worth investigating. 
Um, it's much easier when you see it. And if you have an extra 30 seconds and you go to service, I can just call you and show you. I'm growing out a gnarly beard, so you might like it. And uh, it might save you the time in the future of me calling you back and having another four-minute phone call and being like, hey, you like it now? You know what I mean? <laughs> so that would be my last ask is to go I to my do. site and I can right. show it's you. But... It's in a month, man. You know, that's a pretty good page. Let me, let me, let me give you a shot, Dave. Or the service bill? Service bell, yeah. B-E-L-L dot com. B-E-L-L? Yeah. The beard is really what does it. That's why I'm growing this guy out right now. Hold on. Here I come. Your video will be off by default. Okay, here, here. Okay. Check it out. Not too shabby, right? Not too shabby at all, man. Dude, you're right. That's a, that's a solid beard you got going. Hey, thanks, man. I can even make it full screen for you. Ready for this? That's Dang. it. <laughs> Just look at that, man. So, Heck yeah, man. That was a plan. But yeah, what do you think, dude? Not about the beard, but about the tool. <laughs> <laughs> beard's, beard's looking good, dude. But you know, this tool this tool's awesome. So walk me through a little bit of how it works. So just like that, if I'm going to your website, or they come to our site, client mm -hmm. book, right? Mm -hmm. That little button that I saw when I first joined will be mm -hmm. at the bottom right or mm -hmm. wherever we place it. Yep. And then they can just chat live with whoever's yep. on inbound right then to, yeah. to take the incoming calls. Exactly. There's a lot of stuff you can do. You can record pre-recorded voicemails for target uh -huh. accounts and have that video play for somebody or there's a lot of cool stuff you can do, but we're like a video first live chat. That's the idea. Yeah. We're thinking of, we're looking into inbound down the road because I can see, I mean, again, I was on inbound for like six months, so you can see why this is valuable. I can see why this is super yeah. valuable. Yeah. I like it, dude. So um, there's a lot more in the back end that I can show you. You seem intrigued already by the front end. Um, yeah. Can I schedule some time with you like early next week to do a, a demo? And if you like it, have it in your back pocket for later. You know, maybe introduce other people. Maybe not. Yeah, why not, dude? Let's do it. Boom. I'm going to get out of your hair. Is there any, any other questions I can answer for you now before I let you go? No, man, that's it. We'll, uh, we'll, chat, we'll uh, chat on Wednesday. All right. Sound good? Looking forward to it, Spencer. Take it easy, man. I right, appreciate it, Jacob. Have Booking a good those one, demos. Take it easy. Yeah, right, we'll do it. See, See you. Bye. All righty, lads. Book the demo in. 173 dials. Let's go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's cold calling video, watching me try, fail, try again, and eventually succeed. There's more where this came from. If you liked the video, give it a like. I, by the way, help people with cold outbound strategy. If you want me to take a look at your cold call or cold email script to rewrite it, I offer that service. I also can help you create an offer and improve your outbound sales scripts, rewrite it for you, listen to your calls, anything you need. Go ahead and click the link down below in the description. I actually have a free Facebook group you can join with a community of people doing cold outreach where we can share ideas, improve, etc. And when you sign up for the, the, the Facebook group, you get access to my free pain-based prospecting training that teaches you all about good prospecting strategy, building solid lead lists, and booking more meetings. See you there.